want to take it? Uh -huh. <laughs> Jeff and I met in Silver City, New Mexico. We were both working at the same job. He was a surveyor and I was in the office. Five months later, we got married and <laughs> sort of a whirlwind. And that's been, it'll be 30 years in September. We were concerned for a couple of years, my son and I, well, we knew we had a problem. We hadn't really discussed it with Jeff yet. We were just kind of behind the scenes talking and I was doing a lot of research and his mom had Alzheimer's and his grandmother, but realistically, we didn't think yet this could, it could be. So we thought, well, I better get him checked out and that's how we ended up here. Mm -hmm. That was a good decision. We joke about it, my son and I, that when when you go in to sit down after they've done their testing and they put a box of Kleenex between you and your son, it's probably not going to be good news. But it wasn't shocking news either. We, we had pretty much by that point already decided that's what we were looking at. Mm -hmm. So, but we didn't have to go mm -hmm. through the years. Um, you know, I, I, was, I was, you know, I couldn't do my work. You mean you're serving when you were doing yeah. the highways and the freeways? And yeah. The, yeah. 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 You did every freeway here I in town. I was the only one doing it. Yeah. You know. But he's he's amazing. He's he still has a sense of humor. <laughs> he still has his love for his family. He's just amazing. <laughs> I'm a <laughs> crier. I'm a crier. <laughs> <laughs> We're a family of criers. <laughs> you know, when you get married and you're dating and you're doing all of, you know, the, the courtship part, of course you're sweet and you're, you know, you're loving and you're whatever. Well, then as life goes on and you have kids and you have broken arms and car accidents and plumbing issues and illnesses, you know, you kind of lose some of that. And... You never lose the love, obviously, but you know, you kind of forget to be sweet and kind and loving and all of that. And he's back to that, to where he's just, he's just the sweetest man. It's like we're, it's like we're dating all over again. He's just the sweetest person ever. And he tells me every day how much he loves me and that honestly keeps me going.